Hi guys, welcome to another Zoof Skills Fishing video. Uh, this is just going to be a quick video on how you can upgrade your jigs, especially for slow pitch jigging or shore jigging. So, without any further ado, guys, we get straight into it. So guys, for these upgrades, you don't need a lot and it's quite affordable. It's just a few things you can do to improve the performance and also the hookup ratio of your catches. You just want to make them look more appealing to the fish and also you know, give you that advantage when it comes to hooking a fish. So you need a few things. Uh, first would be split rings like these ones here. You'd also need your assist hooks. You can use doubles or singles. It's entirely up to you. I also have uh, larger ones here and single assists as well, as you can see, guys. Okay. And then the last item you'd need are these rubber squids. Uh, these are glow in the dark and fluorescent and so on. So these really help you as well. So let's begin guys. Um, so let's start off with applying your assist hooks. So here I have a jig that comes with a factory footed uh, hook, right? But now this is not ideal for slow pitch. This is a slow pitch jig though. So what I do in this case is I would use one of my split rings. Let me get one out and open pack here. There we go one of these out here and I'll just get one of my hooks in this case let me use an assist hook which is the joint combat by BKK so let me open up one of these as well it's a bit tricky okay, here we go guys Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your split ring here and use your split ring pliers. And here we go, guys. Just open up your split ring there. And you put the solid ring that your assist hooks come with through there. And you pull it. Now you can just thread this through and then obviously take your jig afterwards. I just like to do both at the same time. It just gives me some time to save so all you do is you put it through here just like how you put that solid ring i don't want you got it through there guys you just turn it in like this there we go guys and you in so what this does for you is when your jig is falling to the bottom you have hooks on either end and if a fish comes on this side they get hooked with that hook they come on that side they get hooked on with these hooks as you can see they're very sticky so that's the first upgrade or improvement you can make on your jig is a plank assist hooks like that the second thing i would suggest is let me get another jig would be uh for example let me use a larger jig okay let me use this jig here Okay, so you can see guys, this is a normal jig that came only with this hook, right? I applied these. I bought a pack of them. Just had one here. Let me see if I can get my hands on another one. Here we go. That's the double hooks that I applied here, as you can see. So that was the upgrade I made. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to make this look more like a squid. So I'm going to apply a squid skirt right here. As you can see, so the first thing you do is you just cut, you snip the top of the rubber squid there. Don't have to, but in this case, I just want to do it to make it easier to put the hook through. Now, I've already measured, guys, that if I have to pull it through, right, the hook will come out through these slits here. So you don't want a situation where your hook is going to come out there out through here because it affects the action of your hook. Sorry about that. So I'm just going to thread this through very quickly to be very careful I don't pierce myself because these are extremely sharp hooks 
as I said this is glow so this squid actually has a glow effect in the water so it, it's a bit tricky but you'll have to force the squid through as I'm doing here it is going through but you don't want to get hooked on the side as I said I'm gonna push it straight through So it is going through guys, it is going through. Just trying to do a neater job of it. There we go. It's going through. Almost through guys. So as I said guys, it's a bit tricky. You take your time, you can get it done. Almost there. Awesome, it's through. Okay, so now you can push, 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 push. There we go. So as you can see, there's the hook, it's out there. Just have to force it through. Okay, now once you push it through, you can use your splitting pliers. In this case, my Splitting scissor and push it through. Now you want the head to come out, so you'll have to push the head out, guys. It'll take some persuading, but you can get it done. There we go, it's coming through. As you can see, here we go. So I'm just gonna force it through a bit. There we go, awesome stuff. So now you have your squid. As you can see and the way i did it guys i tried to put the eyes through but once you have it through you can obviously situate it how you want so if you want the eyes to be like but more evenly spread out from the hook you can just do so like that there we go and just twist it up so here we have it guys and just pull this one leg out tentacular as they say there you go sorted guys good to go we have your squid there all right so what happens is when this is falling to the bottom the jig looks like the body of the squid and this looks like the tentacles and it goes down like that so that's another very quick adjustment you can make right and yeah guys it will get you the hits it'll get you that attention that you want your jig to possess in the water so let me do the same for a smaller jig as well Okay, here we go so I'm gonna do the same or oh, in this case guys it's smaller so let's just try it first without piercing it okay there we go very very sturdy hooks okay it's gone through guys It's through, but I just have to push it a bit more harder. Okay, there we go, guys. It's through. Okay. So use my splitting pliers again to just hold it there. And just pull the squid through. Be very careful when you're doing this part, guys. Last thing you're going to do is hook yourself. Okay. There we go. Just get the, the head through. The thing is, I never snip it. You can snip it if you want. It'll make this part a whole lot easier. But I'm just pushing it through myself because I want it to be tighter on the assist cord. There we go, guys. So this is another one. So this basically will won't fall like the head at the bottom it will fall at the top and this will just give it a more wounded presentation and of course you can switch it out to make the eyes for there and the reason why i put a smaller one on a smaller jig and a larger one on a larger jig is because of the profile you don't want this to be too large it's got to be too large where it's going to affect the action of the jig this is a bit lighter so it will fall with the cadence of the jig and makes it look more natural so there we go guys, very quick adjustments you can make to your jigs to give you that advantage. 
And yeah, tight lines. All the best, guys. Thank you for watching.